So SP1 um, was inspired by a concept we did back in 2009, but is the evolution of this vehicle. The same design language has now been applied to a vehicle that has the correct road going proportion, is wider, um, has an improved stance, and has all the details necessary to make this a usable, practical driving vehicle. Working closely alongside the client, um, we've evolved the design using his ideas um, and also the inherent knowledge of the craftsman on the shop floor building the car to create something truly exciting and unique. I started uh, 11 years now, I've been here, so 11 years ago, and I started in the tin shop as an apprentice, did a four year apprenticeship in there, and then I built all the Aero Maxes and Super Sports, and then obviously got offered uh, the job to come over here and build a special project. One of Morgan's key USPs is that we offer the most personalised car service in the industry. So our vehicles aren't hand assembled, they are entirely handmade and every single one is tailored to the customer. Um, the SP1 is absolutely no exception to that rule and this car has been completely hand tailored down to the last detail. The project came about by uh, Steve and I was having a meeting with us guys and uh, asking us if we wanted to build this one-off special coach built project um, showing some pictures of what, what we, was intended, what we wanted. So once we finish the sketch work design, we then get straight into the um, surface modelling packages, if you like, and render and visualise what this car is going to look like. From there, we uh, had a rolling chassis rolled into the development workshop and then uh, started uh, making panels for it, which contained uh, using the old English wheeling machine and uh, hand, more hand craftsmanship and also using the shrinking and stretching machine. So we have the same chassis and running gear which is used in our 3.7 litre V6 Roadster which we currently offer in production. We've reinforced the chassis with a tubeless space frame um, to enable us to take the coupe body and give a lot of inherent stiffness to the body. The doors open in a very dramatic manner as if to invite you with inside the car where you find each part of the process celebrated with its own little design and design salute if you like. So the leather work is very graphical, very elaborate, the stitch work is very bold and the leather itself is a distressed leather which will age gracefully um, and also has a very natural quality to it, much like the leathers we use in our cars. These are sat on top of a wooden frame which is polished up natural ash wood so you can see the true grain, the true pattern of the wood and how it's been used in a very sculptural form. Likewise, this natural ash is used on the doors where the actual framework and assembly of the coach built body is shown. I wanted to bring this to the surface so you can really see how the car is put together. The joints within this wooden frame are exaggerated with a strong tonal contrast between the natural ash wood we commonly use and the client's own decision to use uh, an African wood called a binga, a wood that's naturally very red in colour and complementing the red body colour that the client also chose. We apply the high bill primer and then the paint is a three-stage pearl effect paint. The black, which is the base coat, basically bleeds through the red. So on different angles of the actual car, wherever you look, you're getting a reflective black and red. Being as this is entirely fabricated by hand, this is something that I didn't want to cover up with too much paint all over the car. So inside the interior, the natural aluminium, as it was fabricated and riveted together, is left exposed, just to remind you that the metalwork is created by hand too and not by machines. So it's a celebration of lots of little bits and pieces around the car, but then there's the interactive points. So the switch gear on the roof is very tactile um, and simulates a, a proper starting procedure to the car, so you feel like you're about to begin your journey. The leather at all the different points of contact um, is designed to age at points of touch. It has evolved in loads of ways and it's, well, it's showing us things we can actually do or hopefully carry forward into, into the production side of things as well, so it should be good. Working with the client and bouncing ideas with them um, was really good fun, watching the project evolve organically as it progressed. Yeah, it's been fantastic working with the client. He's given a great input into what we've, we've been doing and he's, uh, he's get, you get a satisfaction from him actually coming in and saying, it's nice, you're doing a great job and I like that. I don't like that. Um, yeah, it's really good. Till the time I locked him in the in the passenger side of the car, um, saying that the solenoids wouldn't fail, and, and uh, they did. So that was a bit embarrassing. He doesn't let me live it down now. <laughs> Every time I see him, so it's a bit of a nightmare. This design has really evolved as it's gone on, um, and this was, this has been really rewarding actually. As we were coming up with an idea, we'd begin trimming this or fabricating it. 
And then the individual craftsmen who understand their trade much better than I ever could are then saying, well, what about this? And what about that? And this could work really well. So I've learned a great deal about how some of these skills are used and utilized in Morgan cars. Um, and at the same time, worked hand in hand with these guys to achieve something that we're all really excited about. From the design side of things, things are changing. Um, John comes up with more inspirations from other things and says, oh, actually, can, you, can we change that to that? Which is a bit of a nightmare for us, but we've overcome, we've overcome it and uh, got to where we are now. As in any company, the designer-engineer relationship is a, is a fruitful one. Um, I want it to look like this. They say you can't have that. We settle somewhere in the middle. Um, with this project, I think um, the relationship between the individual team members was enhanced, to say the least. So um, there's certainly been some challenges along the way, but I don't feel that any part of the design has been compromised as a part of those. I think we've managed to achieve a, a vehicle that performs fully and also has all the excitement that was originally imagined. So yeah, the future should look really bright for us and I'm looking forward to the next project that's coming along. Can't wait. Should be good. Another good challenge. <laughs>